are you doing? <laughs> Today we're going to go temple hopping. Yeah, we will see the temple and to see the mummy monk. The mummy monk. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Let's go. in our first destination and we're going to see the monk this is where the mummy monk is he's um, died in 1973 he, he was born in 1894 and at the age of 50 after six children were raised he decided to become a monk and he died in the lotus position and he's been here ever since. It's for as a symbol for attaining the lack of suffering, which is the Buddhist purpose, if you will. We are entering to a jungle, I think. <laughs> the, tree, the tree is very tall and it's very green here. So this is the overlap stone we're walking to. The road up here is crazy. I don't know if Chung got any film. Maybe not, but it's super steep. That's beautiful here. We see all the trees here. Yeah. Like, it's a nice little jungle walk once you get here. Yeah. And a lot of the beautiful house is more like a rich people too. It's a super nice neighborhood. But the road is crazy. Once you get past the houses, it's like straight up. But it's paved at least. Yeah. Or not even paved, it's concrete. We're entering this place to go to see the rock. And you can hear, here have uh, all the birds singing. I'm not sure if you can hear or not. And the tree is amazing. Crazy. Wow, so beautiful. Such a view here. Don't jump. So nice. Wow, Dan is over there. For me, I feel so scary. I would say Dan is very brave that he can go over the stone. I was just stuck on the stair and not even go on the stone. I I don't think I'd be very good balancing, so I don't want to risk my life. Any geologists want to explain how this occurs in nature? It's a very large rock on top of an even larger one. Actually two, there's a little rock here and then the big one behind it. And it's just balanced. It's balanced on the side of it. and. It's precariously propped on this cliff overlooking a bunch of single family homes, which I'm pretty sure are uninsurable, except for maybe by Lloyds of London or something, because of this rock going rolling down the hill someday. But any geologists want to venture to guess how this happened? No giant picked this rock up and put it up here. So my guess is that. This used to be one larger rock and rain just slowly melted away this uh, the rock around these two and left what you see now. So after the rock we are just cheering at here first. It's quite scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> you look like very relaxing here, huh? It's a nice rock. 
It's very nice view. And this uh, place, we got this uh, private property, so when you come inside here, you pay 50 baht. It's nice. It is a really, a truly amazing experience. But I don't recommend you to drive out here if you uh, cannot handle the stiff. <laughs> Better hire a driver to drive you. <laughs> Just make sure you have really good brakes for the ride down. Yeah. When you see this one, you're just parking on here and then follow the way to go to the rock place. You may be not able to see by the camera how steep of this place, but it's really steep. There's another couple, they walk out to the hill. You can tell that this road is so scary steep. One of the house here, they have a swimming pool over there. Wow, so beautiful. I come back to the motorcycle. Very tired to walk. Okay. Very beautiful house here, huh? So we're here to see the grandmother, grandfather rock. And this archway probably says grandmother and grandfather in Thai. We hope so. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like there's food over there. No. It seems like there's food and souvenirs no matter where you are in Thailand. Uh oh, a menu. It looks so nice. Oh. Here's grandmother. Oh, it's the penis rock we heard about. Wow, these rocks are just beautiful here. Looks like there was actually a tree growing in that rock at one time. And that is the grandfather rock or, or penis. I guess grandfather's more polite, but. There's supposed to be a vagina rock here somewhere, which is grandmother. We now just follow this guy to show us where is the grandmother rock. Oh! This is the grandmother rock. Oh, walk. Oh! Look up, look up. Look up. Yeah. Oh. Not clean, no? rain come, the river has plenty too much, no? Oh. no good. Peng and Diam come from Napon Sri, Amara, South of Thailand, Pakanang, Family of San, the Dragon Rock, the Dragon Rock, the Dragon Rock, the Dragon the Dragon Rock, 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 the it's easy to spot a grandfather janitor, but the mother one is not that easy. So we got a guide to show us where is it. <laughs> and look, there is a grandmother janitor. Does it look the same? For you, that you think? <laughs> what do you think? I plead not guilty. <laughs> I plead not guilty. Yeah. And there is a grandfather genotype over there. And he's a very uh, good and friendly guy helping me. Very nice, yeah. yeah, helping me to when I go down, it's very stiff here. So he helped me to come down. He's very nice, he helping all the tourists to go down on that spot to show people where is the grandmother private part <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pronounce this temple it's a beautiful Thai word though I hope I'll remember to put it on the screen for you and that's the ocean over there we'll sneak over there in a minute to see the, that golden stupa uh, but this is the main temple here take off your shoes of course 
and let's get a peek at Buddha. Oh, very nice. The Thai Buddha is always a, a younger Buddha. I suspect that after we, he was awake, he started earlier in his travels in Thailand, so he appears younger in, in historical depictions. Whereas he's older, and when you're in China, you'll see that he's older in other parts more north of Asia. It's a little easier to see the artwork when you're out in the light on the outside of the temple. Very beautiful. Beautiful golden stupa right overlooking the ocean. We have the little cobras here facing the ocean. What a lovely scene. Very peaceful. There's Thai culture and architecture, everything is it's based on the Buddhist spirituality. The architecture and money and all that was over the years has been in worshiping Buddha. So that's why Thai has such an Thailand has such an interesting flavor. Is, uh, these grounds are just full of temples. It's very beautiful. There's a Chinese one over there. We'll look at it in a minute. You can see the difference between like a, a Thai temple and a Chinese temple. The, the colors are very vibrant in the Chinese temple and there's a lot of dragons. Um, and the Thai temple is a little more tempered. This is uh, Buddha in the middle of the lake. When I was in Sarnoff in uh, India, they had unearthed this four-headed uh, Buddha, and it was supposed to represent, um, they didn't know it at the time, it was on the money, it was in all of the art in India, and other part of, of the Buddhist world and they didn't know the origin of it but in Sarnoff where Buddha gave his first sermon they found a four-headed um, statue or at least the head of one and they figured out what it meant it meant that after his first sermon he would go to all four corners of the earth and teach about the awareness isn't this beautiful like, if you feel like feeding the fish while you're here, um, use the proper fish feed. That's the healthy one for them. And uh, they go crazy. It's a lot of fun. Let's go! <laughs> So nice here, you can just put a 10 bar and then you can uh, feed the fish here. I feed two times. I just feel like so interesting. They have a big Buddha and this uh, thousand hands godness.
on the lake so it's very nice to come here for you know time feeding the feeding the fish and then to cheer at here it's a fascinating temple it's got uh, Indian Chinese and Thai symbolism they're all interrelated of course the dragons protecting the goddess It's like the previous one, they have young Buddha here and they have older Buddha on top. I don't know if you know anything about Indian religion, that's called Ganesh. He was a teenage naughty <laughs> boy. Put an elephant head on him. <clears throat> wow, this is really amazing. Look at this place. Not sure how to pronounce it. Maybe someone could help out here, but that is the goddess of Guayan. That's how I'll pronounce it until you correct me. Such a beautiful place. Costa Nui.